see what happens. So we're going to have panel number one power up. Come over here and look at the status light. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my remote, the second remote. So now we have a solid light on my remote. And we have a solid light on that remote. Go ahead and try to fire it up. Now I'm going to turn my remote off, and now we're going back over here and we'll see if the motors will fire up. And there it goes. So there's proof that you cannot fly two phantoms at the same time with similar radios. Now I'm going to turn my remote on and see if I can control this phantom. So now I've got a solid red. yours off. Alright, now we're going to try it again. Look what the Phantom is doing now. We got Amber. It does not like my remote trying to control it. So we'll shut mine off again. Turn his back on. And the Phantom is still firing off. It's green. So now it should fire up here. And sure enough it does. Cannot fly two Phantoms with the manufacturer's remote. Battery compartments. Oh, very good. I was gonna say, do you have do you have a way to know which batteries you've already yeah. used? I keep my charge ones over here. Spare ones over here. Do you have a battery tester? I don't have a battery tester. I have one of those, and we can try that real quick on your batteries. See. 